What's up everyone, Jake here from Jake's Aviation, back today with another model unboxing and review video. This time we have the Gemini Jets FedEx 757-200 Freighter. Uh, this was a June slash July 2024 release, kind of in that, I think they did a combined two months uh, of models in, in one. But yeah, this was my, their most recent one. And um, I realized, I looked back when I saw that they released this, I looked back in, in my collection um, and realized that I don't actually have a, I, or I didn't have a FedEx 757. And you know, I figured it's something, I know at some point they'll probably be gone, but just better to have one now and, and whatnot than not. So kind of finished my, to top off my FedEx collection, I think there's just the A300 left that I don't have. And I know unfortunately I missed the Aero Classics version of that when that came out. Who knows if Gemini Jets will ever make one? I don't know. It would be nice if they did. But anyway, I've got the 757 now, so excited to have this. So let's get right on into it. So here we have the box, the classic Gemini Jets box. Nothing crazy. There we have the aircraft. There we have the information. It's November 921 Fox Delta. Be a pretty simple unboxing and reviews. Not a whole lot to go over with this, um, but the model looks really nice. There we go. Nice cargo aircraft there. Fantastic. All right, here we go. Very nice. All right. Okay, so here we have the aircraft. Oh, my bad. Here we have the aircraft, and it looks really nice overall. I'm, uh, I'm impressed. So let's uh, take a closer look here. The World on Time. Oh, what's this aircraft's name? Is that Maple? Oh, I can't tell. Let's see. Oh, not Maple, Maggie. I believe it's Maggie, actually. Um, uh, let's do some quick research here. We're gonna pull up a database, a 921 Fox Delta. Let's see if it tells me who it is. Yep, name's Maggie. It's a 33.8, wow, it had a, quite the life before, so it's a old, um, it was a passenger aircraft at one point, converted to freighter finally, and now it lives with FedEx. But yeah, here we have the nose area and everything. Not too bad. This this mold for, uh, from Gemini Jets, you know, the 757 mold isn't terrible. I personally prefer the NG one, but this one is not bad either. Um, the gear looks pretty good. That one door there. You got the FedEx Ex Express right here, the titles, and then the cargo door. Antenna, very nice. The engines looking fantastic with FedEx Express on them. The wings, there's nothing crazy about those. Some good detail though. They look pretty good. And then just moving along, it actually... It doesn't appear... Huh. So, it's interesting. Maybe with this one, they've done a lot more work, a more extensive work to um, mask the windows or whatever. But, or Gemini Jets just hasn't shown detailed it but yeah so there's no aft door anymore i guess i've taken that out there is this little emergency exit door or whatever this is right here which is interesting um but there's no indication like that it was a passenger aircraft in terms of um closed windows even on even on this side um i don't see it so maybe i'm not sure maybe they've done something different they really uh completely like reworked it, fixed it, whatever, but nonetheless, um, moving along, you, everything looks pretty good. It's registration 921 Fox Delta with the American flag right there. Oh, my bad. FedEx there on the tail. The yeah, tail area looks very nice. APU hole and horizontal stabilizers, everything looks fantastic. Got the Lower deck baggage door slash cargo door right there. Pat small packages and up at the front here as well. That's pretty much it for this uh, aircraft. Ooh, ooh. That that 
That doesn't look right. I just, I don't know how, yep, yeah, that's fine. That, that's a little, no, huh. it's a little tilted. I'll maybe be able to bend that back down, but uh, <laughs> that does not look right. Classic Gemini Jets. Classic Gemini Jets. But yeah, overall, it looks like a pretty, pretty decent model. Um, just minus this engine being, oh, that will not, nope. There's no way I could bend that back. The other one didn't look like it had the... Maybe, I don't know, maybe it's fine, I don't know. It just looks, it looks a little weird, like how it's mounted on there. Yeah, it just looks a little weird how it's mounted on there, but... There's the bottom of the aircraft. Nothing special. Here's the top down. Nothing special. It's got the antennas on the top. Nothing on the bottom. But yeah. Overall, pretty decent model. It just, that engine just looks a little off, but it's not too bad. And I can't bend it back, but that's fine. There's no issue there. It's not crazy bad. But yeah, overall, I'd say it's a solid model. I'd say it's worth getting if you're looking for a uh, FedEx 757-200 freighter definitely worth getting this one they've released quite a few of these in the past I know but this is the most recent one and I finally decided to get one but happy to have this and uh, do recommend it just need that a300 so if someone would be willing to make that that would be fantastic or if someone happens to have an air classic one for sale uh, I would love to get my hands on that too but yeah, with that being said, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe for more mall unboxing and review videos, as well as other content. With that, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.